Hello everyone, Lars Denise is here and welcome back to one of my reactions. Now, I know you know it's been a while, sorry for that. One, Paragon hasn't released anyone in like three months. Two, Constantic, I don't know if you can still hear my throat, trying to get better. But I want to record something because I'm getting tired of just being at the will of sickness. I hate being sick. I hate, I hate it. So, uh, they brought on a new character. I decided to do a reaction. Like, hey, you know what? It's a perfect time to do a reaction. New character. It's like the paragraph been updating frequently, but not nothing like really like, hey, this should be a, I should do a video on it. Like I said, they changed the way the Paragon looked, so it looks beautiful now. Very colorful on one side, very dark on the other side. They changed the minions, so they look cool now. They look they don't look as boring. They changed the jungle, so now the jungle looks even more cooler. Like the, the route's still the same, but the jungle itself is kinda cool. Uh that's it. That's it. That's mostly what they've been changing. Just like small little updates that's been building up. And now they finally bring out a new character, which I'm looking forward to. Her name is Tara. Let's see if she's as cool as she sounds. Now, I'm going to pop up OBS because I want to make sure I'm recording because I've been... This is my second time doing this. So, let's want to make sure. When the tide of the fight has been shifted, our hopes are falling down. That was cool. That was so cool. I like the music a little bit. It's kind of cool. I like the skins for the background. I like her skin in general. She looks cool. Like the armor she has looks badass. Now, as I said, she looks cool. Very powerful. Now, the only thing I have a problem is that her abilities didn't look noticeable in this video. Like I said, she didn't stand out. Doesn't mean negative things. Just, she wasn't flash like her moves didn't have like oh that was definitely an attack. The only thing I can say for sure was attack was the deflecting shot or some type of deflection and the helmet. Those are the two things that popped up. Everything else maybe was something that I didn't miss, didn't notice, but maybe it's like a basic attack that she did. Now, um, with the shield, I want to know if it's like a passive like Greystone or is it like something you, it's like ability that you do. Wanna know what's the effect? Does she knock it back or does she I don't know, just absorb the hit? She looks like she's is an unstoppable force. So now one thing about her ultimate which I found interesting, which probably people wanna really notice it, is that she looks like she stops all type of effects on her. Meaning stun, uh juggle or knock up. That seems very effective. Like cause getting his ultimate and it stuns now, so when he does the black hole, whoever's in it can't move for nothing. And that, that, that really affects, like, basic made him like a very powerful character. But now people like her, sees it, you runs, can actually stop it. That's really good. Uh, was invincible, did not get stunned with the rampage bullet, boulder, and did not get knocked up with a uh, Bellica slam. Which I thought was interesting. Very good job on uh, Epic. You know, I say sometimes they be buggy, sometimes they mess up. Very good job on the video on timing those attacks so perfectly because those attacks are very hard to hit. So, except the ultimate. But, very good job on Epic to catch those moments when she's running and she got hit with Belka and Rampage at the same time. Not very often that happens. But, very good job on Epic to really catch them on that. So, I gotta say that praise. She looks cool though. Let's see what she can do.
Terra is a fearless and unyielding warrior that charges into battle and fights for justice. After hearing news that her adopted father had been killed, Terra set out on a new quest, hunt down the evil creature known as Countess, and end her reign of terror. Deafening Command creates a powerful shockwave that deals damage and stuns all enemies around Terra. Mm -hmm. A well-timed Deafening Command can easily devastate a team fight. There is a small windup, so keep that in mind when trying to lock your enemies down. Ruthless Assault is a powerful flourish that strikes all enemies around Terra before delivering an additional attack in front of her. Chaining Deafening Command and Ruthless Assault will deal massive damage, allowing you to carve through your enemies. Counter Guard will raise Terra's shield, allowing her to deflect the next instance of damage. Once deflected, Terra will gain a shield based on how much damage she absorbed. Counter Guard will deflect any attack, and if timed correctly, can get you out of dangerous situations. Keep in mind it is any instance of damage, so time it right or you may deflect the wrong ability. And finally, your ultimate is unstoppable force. Terra's helmet slams down, her armor begins radiating light, and she gains a shield. While active, Terra also gains unstoppable, making her immune to all crowd control effects. Your ultimate is game changing, as it allows you to tank more damage and literally makes you an unstoppable force. Terra's ability to become immune to crowd control can cripple the enemy's plans and shift the tide of battle in your favor. Unstoppable Force allows Terra to navigate fights freely and is most effective when the enemy is doing everything they can to lock down your allies. And when paired with Counter Guard, Terra is a force to be reckoned with. Charge into battle and carve your way to glory as Terra. Okay, that was cool. Very good ability she has. Um, love her skin. That skin with her armor looks badass. Sorry, Ugh, I gotta get a little stretch. I focus. Um, she seems like a character that is hard. That's gonna be hard to kill. I'm trying to see how to word it. Hard to kill when you're facing her. Like you have to catch her off guard to do maximum damage. Like. You have to, and if you're going to hit her, it looks like you got to hit with everything one shot. Because the minute she does the ultimate, she's unstoppable. Doesn't mean she can't die. She can still probably die in the ultimate. It's just going to be a harder time to kill her because she's going to be, literally, can't, you can't stop her. Now, they said crowd control. I wonder how, what that means. Like, does that mean silence and root? Cause I don't think those are crowd controls. I'm trying to think. I don't think root is a crowd control, but I'm not sure. Silence, not anyone in the game. There's only one person in the game can silence person. So I don't know if that's that's considered crowd control. Who knows? Maybe they, she was silent. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to what she did with Victor, but she was. She couldn't stop. She couldn't stun. It's still good enough. Uh. Because she's unable to be stopped, period. That's really good. She looks like she does a lot of damage. Just slow as hell. Uh, I like the fact that she... Cause she was like... It's kind of like one little set it and forget it. Like, hey, you know what? I'm not sure what she's going to do. Let me just put the shield and try to run away. And then if they do anything, you just pretty much absorbed it. That's kind of good. That's really good. You don't have to time it like Gin. And it's not like a... It's not passive like Greystone. And this, it gives you shield, so it's kind of it has a bonus. So if you're attacking someone and you're not sure what they're gonna do, you shield up real fast, and then if you have a, a stop of force, you can just really just go ham. <coughs> Sorry, those still a little, eh, you know. So I look forward to that. I look forward to playing this character. She comes out tomorrow. So, you know, the update might be, like, the breakdown for her might be, like, in two or three days after that. Because I really want to get a feel of her. I like to try. Like, yeah, you know, I used to do all, a lot of offline breakdowns. And they, they, were, they were good. Like I said, there was nothing wrong with them. But now I want to play with them online as well. That's what makes the breakdowns now a little harder. Because at least, you know, I could play with them online and then face them. 
And then if I even have a different character, it's like, oh man, this is really strong, or this is really good, or this sucks, kind of. So she seemed like a character that is just like, oh man, I gotta fight her, shit. But she looks like a very good character to play with. So I look forward to playing her. She comes out tomorrow. I like the little story of Countess and her. Sounds seems like a little like rivalry with that. I like that. It's kind of cool. As that she looks like a really cool character. I just hope she plays as good as she is. But it looks like a friend. So they haven't made one bad character I can think of. None. So all the characters had a purpose so far that they came out with. You know. Everyone had like, oh, this is cool. That's a cool ability. People need things like this. Someone needs to absorb this, blah, blah, blah. It's cool. So, she's, she seems cool. I look forward to breaking down her. About time they bring out a new character after so long. As I said, this has been coming up with like a lot of little updates, but it's been big changes. So, but it's not like super like, oh, this is, I got to tell people about this. This is like, oh, they updated the graphics and changed the way the board looks. Oh, they changed the graphics of the minions oh they changed the graphics of the, of the jungle now so there's a lot of graphical updates but now they finally bring characters who knows they're gonna bring more characters hopefully they do but Paragon does have a lot of characters in the game so it's like you know more is good for the game because more people can come play it but the characters they have right now including Terra very good roster very good roster but like I said hopefully in a few days you'll see the breakdown Hopefully my throat feels better. Until then, hope you guys enjoy C. And I'll see you next time.